good day children so the other day we saw in this lesson landscape of the soul we saw four stories in that in one story the painter paints the picture and then he hides it behind the curtain and when he shows it to the king the king admires it and he says it's a very wonderful painting and see what is the come i'll show you what is inside and he claps his hands and he and the cave uh, door of the cave opens and he goes inside and the painting disappears this was the first painting in the second painting there was a person who used to make a dragon but he never made the eye of the dragon because he was afraid that if he made the eye of the dragon it would fly away and it would cause destruction and in the third one there was a blacksmith he wanted to marry the painter's daughter but the painter did not agree and one day quietly he entered the studio and he painted a fly on the new painting and when the painter came and he tried to hush away the fly it did not fly away it did not get away from there and then he was very much impressed he kept him as a as an assistant and then he his daughter got married to him and then now we'll read about getting inside outsider art so here this is the story of nature nature was a person of chandigarh he cleared the forest and then he made a rock garden over there and he is said to be an untutored genius who created a paradise means he never got any training but it was his uh, what to say it was his uh, passion to do something great so using little little things like the bangles of your parents mother or the bangle glass bangle she wears the broken pieces of that the cold drink bottles the cover of the bottle all these things are used to make that place a beautiful place to be seen and children i have visited this place and it is made and built on a very big area and it is really worth seeing and i think you also should go and visit with your parents over there and this garden is really very interesting and whatever we throw away all those things he has utilized to make a beautiful place for of attraction place of tourist tourism for the indians as well as for the foreigners so here years ago a little patch of jungle had been began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with stone and recycled material is known to be the world day today as the rock garden in chandigarh so it is famous as a rock garden in chandigarh in google you can search and you can see some of things can be shown in that its 80 years old creator director nichan is now hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art so he is said to be the biggest contributor of the outsider art the 50th issue of raw vision a uk based magazine pioneered in outsider art publication features nichan and his rock garden sculpture given by waterfall on its anniversary issue cover so when the uh, magazine that they take out in that this rock garden if that is the woman by the waterfall that was taken from his rock garden and it was printed on the cover page of the magazine the notion of art brut or raw brut raw art was a works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influence the notion of the raw art is the work 
where the raw state are regarded as cultural and means the disposable things and all utilizing them in a cultural way artistic way and it influences the mind and soul of the people anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for the work of art and everything has used from the tin to a sink to a broken down car even the pieces of the broken down car they are used as an art over there something nature was taken to dizzying heights and because of all these things he was his name and his fame got higher and higher recognizing his art as an outsiding test outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives in his dreams so this person is said to be living in his dreams and that's why he has used all those throwing out materials that we throw out we feel that all these things are useless so he has used all those things and he made his dream come true by making a big rock garden in chandigarh the swiss commission of uno unesco will be honoring him that time in 2005 it was held and lately i think two or three years back this fellow passed away so here he says that he they are going to uh, honor him by honoring him by way of a european exposition of his work of his work he, he, will, he was going to be honored the fifth month interactive show realm of nature beginning october will be held at Le uh, leading museums in switzerland so in switzerland the leading museum his works were put over there belgium france and italy in in all these places the museums are there and in these museums his works was put up the biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation nature says and nature say that the biggest reward for me is this that when i people when i see the people moving around in the garden and enjoying my works and my creation then i feel very delighted and feel very happy so this fellow in that i've seen that uh, different kinds of mirrors are also kept big big mirrors are there in that one mirror will show you you are lean and thin one will show you you are fat the another one will show you are crooked means this way all different different kinds of mirrors are also kept over there so it is really worth seeing place and not only by reading if you will go and see all those things you will witness all those things then you will really feel very happy that we indians also can do all such kind of things so children um this is the end of the lesson i think i divided the lesson in two parts only and uh, that's all for today good day children